welcome back. Let's play some more Morbihan. Anywho, I did just conquer this. And I did set a trade thing stuff right here. There is some traders looking abroad. I'm actually very far from my uh, monitor right now, but whatever. Can't really see a lot of details, so if I misread something, just ignore it. So, um, it's pretty interesting. These places don't actually have that bad of technology. They're pretty good, actually. Look at them. These people aren't that far away. Uh, that far behind me, militarily, they're actually two technologies in front of me, which is hilarious. But with time, they will just fall back, probably. I'm saying probably, I have no idea if that actually is how it works. Just a second, okay. Let's continue. Oh no, more people are rising up against me that have no chance in winning. Okay. You, your units are suffering casualties. Where? Ah, probably in that revolt place thingy. Let's get some more buildings in. All of these places have been colonized. Thankfully. Naval arsenal. Let's not build any more military stuff in here. They don't, uh, they really don't serve a purpose. Uh, training fields. Spy agencies. Shipyard. Uh, there's some counting houses. Or some canals. Let's do some roads first. They're very expensive. So, I'm not really expecting much progress but whatever we have a trader let's just see how our trade is doing anyway there is no trader in here nor is there one in here the trading companies in the region boost the amount of goods produced by western countries so it's zero percent what about this one they boosted by zero percent here too start a trading company okay so there should be a trading company right here. I do think we've created one. These are all to a trading company. Uh, so whatever. There's a trading company right here, but it's still 0%. Um, how much money does this trade note have in here? 16 ducats full. The, uh, Turkey is pushing stuff in the center so that's bad for me the ottomans i mean and if i push stuff from here to the ottomans that wouldn't really be uh, that good anyway hmm. i might start pushing stuff from here downwards but it will just go right here and the other trader will send it up probably let's just do it like that transfer trade power with this guy just take a couple of days to read them coco in baru i have three colonists all of them are colonizing stuff and i do want to go somewhere maybe in indonesia to colonize more stuff right here somewhere but I don't know uh, where are my ships though this Karak should just take this one this guy and start exploring this part of the ocean the, the most uh, southern one I don't want to take Ulster why sh would I what is my mission by the way I should have a mission Create a proper fleet. Ah, that's not happening. I'm not making uh, that many ships. And it's a lot of ships. I have quite a large... 303. They want me to create 303 ships. Are you crazy? 
the second uh, technology. This technology. So I'm waiting for this thing. Once this pops, I will make that, those ships. Then it might be uh, kind of acceptable. This land doesn't look colonized, so I would if I could. That's what I want to say. Anywho, okay. There's a quite a lot of attrition that I'm taking right now. And you have to to take this idea. You have to take exploration ideas if you want to become a great power in this game. Because there is no other way. Literally. This is taking quite a while actually. A year. We'll have to wait um, another year for that to be completed. And it's a six province so... Co so conversion is pretty hard. Yup. Very actually. Um, so this ship is going to go a little bit in this part of the world. To discover stuff. Okay, military, we need that. Uh, this guy should be... Portuguese uh, accept the man's hand, but not happening. Okay, what is my idea right now? Oh my god, this is not good. Overextension. No idea. Stability or inflation? Let's take some inflation here. Reduce inflation. Okay, one. Um, so. The next guy will give me some charge infantry or Maori fan, Mauritians, I don't know. I'm third in the world by the way. For stuff, which is funny. Anyway, I have 15 regiments out here, so no one is even thinking of attacking me. This guy doesn't even have any idea that he wants to kind of become independent. So I'll I'll help him colonize Florida and I'll colonize this piece of land. It is an important nat uh, natural harbor. It does have an important natural harbor, so. Eva. These are all caravels. So I can't actually send people out there. Are you cogs? There are two cogs. Let's take one of these guys. Um. Let's go to the Yucatan channel and to Havana. This is Cuba, I do believe. I have a thousand gold, so let's build stuff down here. I build that. Where can you? Oh, okay, in here. Okay, that's done. Trade depots, where can you build trade depot? Here. Okay, that's done. One, two. Now dry docks. Where can you build a dry dock? Um in these two provinces. Three. Okay. And now let's build another counting house down here. Apparently it has no effects. Barracks is spy disease. Let's build one in here. Anyway. So let's continue. Um how is trade doing? This money is being driven in here. Okay, it's zero. Zero. Three ducats are going f of trade are going down there, so that's pretty good and they are pumping 19 ducats of money up here the city is taking things from Kiowa I can re-elect him one more time and I shall do it I shall do it though uh, aristocrats are taking some power but it's not really that scary he's not going to give it to the traders right away 
the rising. Okay, we beat down the natives. Um, there, it's a hundred. Jesus Christ, it's a hundred. From technology, we get fifty people. We gain the core province. Yay! 50, 555 months. Just crazy. Do I get any ideas? Uh, that will raise missionary strength. So there is a cost modifier. Strength tolerance for heretics. Let's do that one. For heretics, so uh, that's not good for other people. Like the uh, people that would like to join my country, like Protestants. Protestants aren't that welcome in my land. So whatever. Do it like that. And I'll just come up here. So how is religion doing? Look at their canal that they've built. <laughs> Look at it. Just a pure Protestant country right here. And it's still spreading. Look at the coast up here in Normandy. It's, it's hilarious actually. Lose one civility or so diplomatic power. Whatever. Protestantism isn't stopping and it has conquered France so that's even more hilarious um, more uh, more fights in here afterwards we're taking Moron by the way it's going pretty quick right now colony self-sustained down here so this guy still isn't thinking of uh, declaring the panel. Let's take this one and go exploring a little bit deeper into Brazil. Uh, 14 heretic regiments rise up to revolt in Kuta. What the hell? Unrest in. Okay. Where the hell is that place even? I have no idea. I believe it should be in here somewhere. Oh my god. No idea. Anywho. Uh, this guy is hostile to me. Because wants my provinces. He wants all of these provinces which I have conquered. And he might actually attack. So that's not good. Um, it takes diplomatic points, eh? Well, I would love to do it in math first. 125 and in Leinstadt. Okay. And the others I will do it later. Covered more agents. Merchants, please. That's even more money. But I'm keeping the money right now. Because I do want to just uh, kind of have a lot of power a lot of uh, money so that I can use it to, to get like a lot of trade a lot of mercenaries and stuff like that now we're going to create another fleet with galleys one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 18, 16, 17, 18. Let's create some more in here. 2, 3, 4. And that should be enough. For now. That will make my my army quite strong. Yeah, sure, Syria. Have your fun. There's a lost ship. Ah, I forgot about that galley out there. I'm still colonizing things that should be premium. Should be de jour from for Pima, according to the to the Tordi Tordi Salis Tordi Las whatever name it has agreement. It should be it should be kind of Pimian lands, but whatever. Oh my God, these ships take centuries to be built. I'm going to just put up a Karak right here. So, Go 
go up here and repair and we'll kind of go discover Japan or something Kasai, nope and it's weird, it's weird how the computer generates these new maps because they do make some countries quite strong and others quite weak like this guy, uh, Nizhny Novogorod isn't that strong but so isn't Albania at the start of the game so whatever anywho post office trade in one category so it could build more trade things let's build two of them right here because we are kind of uh, a trading republic or something like that at least let's get an explorer because I lost the last one okay oh dude come on please it is rising in somewhere this colony won't join me it will join probably uh more beyond west indies colony whatever not getting any attrition which is hilarious I guess I'm about to claim cause barely against all of these guys against the Dali to take almost any land I want probably most land I want from them this is uh, quite close to an inner sea that's why I'm not taking any penalties and all of these people are Muslims by the way There's a central trade right here, I believe, coming out of here. Want another military guy, by the way. Yep, there it is. That has 21 ducats. So it's pretty rich. And I do want a piece of it. So, discovering all of these sea zones is pretty important right now. Because I will just start conquering everything in India. Powerful influence, prestige. Um, let's go with similar technology. Okay. Um, let's go with some. Yeah, this guy is pretty fine, I guess. Ninety-one percent. Okay, so uh, just go one more province one more sea zone discover it and leave home okay more trade efficiency um local defensiveness 66 percent go back to uh kurak oh so this is kurak i get it even if they kind of uh, I haven't built a trade force, have I? Even if they kind of want to go and start killing people, they really can't, I believe. Or okay, Hindu zealots. Some harsh treatment will do you good. Okay, I've the ships. Some of them been built. And many of them have been built. Everyone to move behind, please. This new ga this new um, this new uh, float fleet will help me with my enemies. Um. I have quite a lot of money, so I didn't really... It doesn't really matter. It's a 37 right now. Send privateer mission. 
uh, sending a fleet to the privateer mission will send it under pirate flag and seal trade power from other nations in a trade note. Okay. Um, mouth ball. Mouth balling can only be used on oh, just a second. Used on ships that are currently in port. It will make a fleet uh, useless as long as uh, mouth balling is enabled. Okay. Let's. Uh, we could defend some trade, protect some trade, but all these flutes are. Um, there's two caravels that. I know what they're doing in my fleet. One and two. Select. Protect trade in Caribbean. And I'm going to kind of also remove the flutes. All of them. And I'm just going to send them in India. They are. 17 flutes right there. It's hilarious how many ships uh, I actually have right there. Anywho. So there are 18 ships right here that are actually strong enough to fight anything. But those 18 ships are state of the art technological of at least the time. So that's pretty important to kind of recognize. Empire. Uh, okay, the emperor now is a Catholic, Catholic guy again. So the Catholics have their upper hand, but they keep changing everything. Okay, um, costly embargo. So we are lifting that embargo. Revoke embargo, yes. But we are setting them on an embargo. Uh, another costly embargo. But I want them as a rival then. Your own country. Set these guys as our rival too. That will be removed. And now. Trading in ivory. Diplomatic reputation. Thank you. So Pasai still likes us. We're sending a diplomat right now to improve our relations with them. Now an influence actions thing has opened, which I've never seen before, or maybe it was here, but I don't know. For please proclaim guarantee thing. I, it probably was. <coughs> I have no idea. Uh, colony sustained. Go to Moran. It's the land of Mo uh, the Morgana West Indies. Fish. Awesome. This creates an uh, island. Okay. Coco. New Morbihan has grown quite strong too. Probably fighting stuff in everywhere. These people have all, all settled down and are colonizing stuff. They just fight. Interesting. Okay. I can do whatever they want. There's another trader for us. And why is that? No idea. The company is probably are just doing quite a lot. Anywho, that's still a new trader. So let's see. I have a trader right here. Or do I? I don't. Transfer trade. This is the Gulf of Aden. Right now that is going to send things to Zanzibar. And then that is going to send things here. And off it goes. Stability of money. Let's use the money. Okay. A, a power dwindles as, uh, as distances grow. But whatever. Let's split up uh, four soldiers. Four soldiers are going to have these colonies in them. And they are just going to kind of uh, debark with this army. 
shit and we're going to see how how these uh, societies are constructed right here. Okay. There's quite a big Montenegro. So that's hilarious. Let's go right there. Montenegro is huge, okay. They probably conquered quite a lot of stuff, it didn't start like that. But we don't know that, so... Um, then there is some uncolonized land, which we were just colonized. I don't have any colonies yet, but whatever. Let's go up a little bit. On this side though. How do they feel about that? There's this minus 10 because they think that we're thieves or something. Don't really care. And then there is the Asakura. Up here. Anyway. The Asakura probably just extend up to here. Because there are just massive countries or something in here. There is some uh, Shuwaya guys, people thing. And then there is some of these guys. Let's come up here and see what's in this. There is more of Karaman. Okay, this is very split kind of. Now you should just go right there for a couple of seconds and I'll send you guys to discover more stuff out here. And this uncolonized land holds a lot of promises. Kind of. Because it does start my kind of my uh, West Indies thing. So guys, uh, I will just West Indies. I, I don't know how they call this. Uh, Indochina or something. Or is this is just Indochina. Anyway, uh, guys, I will just finish this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.